everyone, it's Cassie. Welcome back for another Pear Blossom Press video. Today we're going to be making a wine bottle tag and we're going to be using the Easy Light to do it. You know I love these. So easy to use, just like in the name. We're also going to be bringing in this adorable little stamp set that has all of your interactive sentiments on it. We've got our stencil from Trinity Stamps called City Lights. It's a layering stencil. We also have the bottled gift tag die set. And I'm going to bring, be bringing in another stamp set later on, but I'll talk about that when we get to it. So I'm going to need to trim down two of these tags. Um, so we're going to go ahead and run that through our die cutting machine. We have two of them. I love this tag because it has an embossed edge all around the outside. And then, you know, you can put this over whatever bottle you plan to bring to your next function. So I'm going to bring in my tonic platform and we've got three stencils with this. We only need a couple of them. So I'm going to tack this down using those magnets just to make sure that I have my cityscape on the background. You'll notice the cardstock that I used is kind of a dark gray, but it's not so dark that I can't use some black ink on the background. So we're gonna use a blending buddy and some black soot ink. This is my favorite ink for um, ink blending, I guess, because it's very black. It's just a nice black ink. So we're blending that on our background. And I do have a couple areas on there that where the stencil kind of moved just a tiny bit. So I'll have a little bit of fuzzing, but I'll tell you what, I'm gonna be doing enough to that background that you're not really gonna be paying any attention to that. So you can kind of see it, it's a little fuzzy right there, but I'm not worried about it. So I'm gonna clean up this stencil because I need it again. We need those lights that you see on the upper part of the stencil. But before we can do that, I'm gonna heat set this background to make sure that that is nice and dry. Because we're using distress inks, um, distress inks kind of tend to bleed into each other. And so I want to make sure that's nice and dry before I put the next layer on. It's going to be kind of light and you may not see it super great in the video, but I promise you, you can see it in real life. Um, you'll also notice that I used some masking tape to just cover up the handle. I decided I didn't want the cityscape up on the handle. This is some Distress Oxide ink in the color Mustard Seed, and Distress Oxides sit on top of your cardstock, whereas Distress Inks will blend into your cardstock. And so um, that's where I was hoping that wouldn't bleed away too much. Now we're bringing in that other stencil, which has all of the fireworks on top. I just think this is such a great stencil. And you could move these around, but I like the layout that they have, the way that they are. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave them just as they are. And I'm only going to ink blend three of those fireworks. So we're going to use some Lumberjack Red for our first one, blending that right over that first set of fireworks. Then our second one, we'll blend on some Salty Ocean. It's just a nice, pretty, bright blue. And then I figure we already have our mustard seed out and that's a pretty yellow. So we're going to go ahead and use that on our last set of fireworks. And again, I just love how pretty these are. Now there is a second part that you could blend over the top. And I did consider using that third, you know, those other um, fireworks to put on top of these. But I decided against it because we are going to light it up. <laughs> and I think these are just super fun because you could just make so many I don't know how many New Year's parties you have to go to. I plan to only go to one because I'll tell you what, I'm a little partied out. I'm not going to lie. As I am editing this video, I am planning a party for 140 people tonight at our house just as a thank you for all the people that work with my husband. <laughs> yeah, 140 people. So, and an introverted Cassie is, yeah, she is already worn out at the thought of it. So I'm going to need a week to recover. <laughs> but it's been in the works for a while, so it should be good. All right, you'll notice that I heat set my background. I am using an anti-static powder tool on that background pretty heavily. And then I am also going to test this to make sure that it's not gonna stick where I don't want it to stick. And you'll see that it did stick. It stuck right over the top of where the lights are. So that means I need to either heat this more or use some more anti-static powder tools. So I'm gonna really lay that on pretty thick. Um, and I'm not worried about that because that will rub away, but I've got that word or the sentiment says Happy New Year. That comes from the Happy Dance stamp set from Trinity Stamps, and it fits perfectly on our bottle tag. So I'm inking that up with some embossing ink, and then I'm going to stamp that down right over the top of our buildings. Like I said, we're doing enough to that. Uh, those buildings that I am not that worried that some of that just kind of was a little bit fuzzy. So it worked great. We didn't have any issue. Our 
too much issue with powder sticking where I didn't want it to stick. So now I'm just going to heat set that till that is smooth and melted. And you'll notice it goes from like a matte finish to a shiny finish pretty quickly. And so once that is done, we're going to clean up our mess. Let that dry a little bit, um, kind of cool down, because I do want to wipe away the anti-static powder tool that I had all over that background, simply because I don't want the haze. And so we'll clean that up. This is where I should have done some splatter, and I may still go back and do some splatter, you know, using the Trinity Gold palette, maybe just some little silver to make it look like either it's snowing or potentially that there's stars in the sky. And now I am poking holes where I'm going to want those um, easy lights to poke through. Just use my pickup stick to do that. And then this is where we're going to bring in our second tag. I'm going to need to cut that down because it'll be too thick otherwise. So I'm just cutting off the handle and you can just cut it right at the emboss line. And now we can bring in our easy light. So I'll pull in my package and you're just going to pull out your pieces. You'll need your battery and you'll also need one of the mechanisms. And if you are new to easy lights, which I'm sure most of you are not, if you are here, uh, it's just that easy. You take them, you put your battery, just line it up with the plus with the plus sign, test it out, and everything seems to work. So that's really all it takes to get those going. And now you just place them where you want them. So I don't worry about where those cords are going to go just yet. I actually really don't even worry about where the mechanism is going to go yet. My big concern is where do my lights go. So I make sure to take all of my lights and poke those through the hole. You can use washi tape to hold these in place. Uh, you couldn't go over the light with that, but I use sometimes use scotch tape. And so with the scotch tape, you can just stick the light right in place and tape that down. And I'm always testing as I go along and everything is working beautifully. So now I am now considering where I want that mechanism to go or my push button. So I want it to go up here because I want to be able to uh, access the battery in case that runs out. This is a tag that I feel like you could um, re-gift. You know what I'm saying? Like you send that on and then if you don't sign it on the back or whatever, they can re-gift it to the next person and so on and so forth, which I think is super fun, the idea of that. So I want that battery to be accessible. All right, so now I get concerned with the wires, which by concern, I just wad them up <laughs> and then tape them in place. Yeah, it's, I just don't, don't need to be concerned about how pretty that looks because we're going to cover it. And here is where you're going to bring in your foam tape. And if you have not used the world's best foam tape that Pear Blossom Pret has, you need to because it really is. I have used all kinds of foam tapes, but this stuff is amazing because not only is it the per perfect depth for your uh, light up cards, but it's also perfect for shakers. The backing comes off so incredibly easy. And final bit, it is repositionable, which that is worth all the money, right? Because how many times have we put our tape down or put our back down and then <laughs> you didn't do it correctly or it's crooked or whatnot? And then you're concerned, great, now I've done all this work and I've ruined my piece. So it's repositionable for a little while and that's what makes it amazing. So I've peeled off that release paper. You saw how easy that was. Now I'm just sticking my back over the top of that and checking to make sure everything works and it does. So now we're gonna bring in this cute little stamp set and we're gonna bring in the word push. You could stamp that right on your background. However, with all that going on in my background and how dark it is, I've decided we're just gonna stamp it onto some of this yellow cardstock and we're gonna trim it up real close. So it'll be, it'll be trimmed really close up to the word push real tiny, and then I'll just use a little bit of glue to glue that into place, and so it doesn't get lost on that background. And there you have it. I love how this tag turned out. I cannot wait to give it away. I don't have a wine bottle up here in my craft room. Maybe I should, <laughs> but that's how it's gonna work right over the top. I just love it so, so much, and I hope you like it too. And if you do, be sure to hit that like button. Definitely consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And be sure to check out all that Pear Blossom Press has going on over on their blog, Facebook page, and Instagram for more crafty inspiration. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you soon.